Good morning guys, welcome to today's vlog. We are in Amsterdam today. We flew here yesterday from Greece. We actually had like half a day yesterday, kind of. Our flight was like delayed a little bit, so I think we got here at like four. So we went out and explored a little bit, and now today we are trying to figure out what to do because we only have one full day. I wanted to have two, but the flights were like so much cheaper to fly back after only like one full day here. So I was like, it's fine, <laughs> we can come back one day. But Parker's actually been here before and he said there's like a lot to see, but it's also like kind of small. So hopefully we can see what we wanna see in a day. We definitely would like love to come back one day. I think the first place that we're gonna go is to breakfast really quick. We found this really, really yummy acai bowl place yesterday. So we wanna go there, grab an acai bowl for breakfast. And then I think we're gonna go to, don't know how to say it, have to be reading it to like even try to pronounce it, but it's like this big, amazing like park that has a lot of flowers and like tulips and stuff, I think. And we wanted to go to this other flower field, but literally we got on Instagram to like try and find the name of it and what it's called and everything. And their last post is like, oh, say goodbye to the flowers. And they go through and like chop them all off. It's like part of their process or whatever. The flowers are gone at that place. We're hoping, I think from what I can tell from their website and from Instagram, that this park place like still has them. And it's like a 40 minute drive to get out there. So crossing my fingers that they are still there. But anyways, we are staying in another Airbnb. So yeah, it's like 9 a.m. We're all just finishing up getting ready and we're gonna head out for the day. All right, we made a little pit stop at Coco's Corner Shop. Parker got a sandwich. We're just grabbing something quick for breakfast. We're waiting for our pitaya bowls. Here's my pitaya bowl. So good. Okay, so we got our food. We got all energized and we made it to what's called, look, here I'll give you guys the exact name. It's called Kuchenhof. It's just like a tulip filled like park. I guess all the tulip fields, the actual fields are cut down. But it's really cool, look, it's just a park full of tulips. Look how cute. Aspen's gonna look beautiful in her dress. We're gonna go take some pictures in front of all the flowers. It's also freezing cold outside, yeah. We just barely walked in. This is the beginning. There's a lot more to see. They got free maps up at the front so we can find our way around. Guys, these are so pretty. Just like so many flowers everywhere. And I am trying so hard to just stay cool. This is Luke's flower choice. The, the weed looking one. He wanted the weed. There's all of these and he wanted to pick in front of the weed. The <laughs> also guys, not quite as beautiful, but these trees are so big. Like how many years ago do you think that was planted? Like a million? 50. Only 50? They're like so big and there's just the most beautiful flowers everywhere. <laughs> These ones are amazing. I think these might be my favorite. I don't know if you can tell, but they're like, like textured. And then there's these cute little white ones in between. They're all just so beautiful. So like every clip is just like, look at the pretty flowers. But it's because they're all so amazing. And there's literally like new ones around every corner. I don't want to be the one with answers. Because I sure don't want to know which girl you choose. Now we got some strawberries and whipped cream. How are they? They're so good. Are they fresh? You think they're grown think they're, locally? Thinking they're, I'm thinking, yeah. They're probably grown they right local. here. Yeah. It might have said over there, but it wasn't in English. Well. But they're so good. Let me try one. Guys, there are one, two, three, <laughs> four. Did I? Well, there's two right there. Two, another one, five. Six over there. Do you know how many people are wearing the same color jacket as We're you? We're looking for you. And it's as me? Everyone's yeah. the same color. It's like kind of a distinct color and then we look around. Wait, did I already get that? Yeah, you see what happens oh. when you start wearing something. You're a trendsetter. All right guys, so we are back in Amsterdam now where we were is like another city, I think. Guys, I look so ridiculous. It is cold. It's actually raining right now, but our Luke and Gray summer collection launches today. And I should have taken a picture when I was in Greece in like one of the summer collection pieces, but I didn't because I thought that it would be warm here. So literally what I'm wearing right now, this hoodie that I borrowed from my sister, 
Shout out to Healy Fam. I have a sweater on underneath it, and then I have, I'm have i wearing like a matching set. So I have on leggings, the skirt, and then like the matching top. And then I have the hood up because it's literally freezing. So I look like the biggest idiot walking around. So what I'm gonna do is get to the place I wanna take my picture, and then take off all my clothes except the set. And then after I get the picture, put on all the clothes that are not the set. Yeah, we're going to this, I think they just call it the gingerbread houses. I'm not really sure if it has another name, but it's just like a really, really cool, pretty lookout point that's like iconic in Amsterdam. So yeah, but anyways, right now we are actually getting french fries. Everybody here has these french fries that are like in a cup. All right guys, here's our famous french fries. What's this place called? It's called this. We just got ketchup. What sauce did you get? Mustard. Oh, mustard? So you just dip them in the little, kind of use the little fork. Them. Yeah. Mm. We're really I love it, yeah. How sad. The gingerbread houses are literally covered up. I think it starts like maybe right here-ish. I don't know which ones are exactly them. Maybe it's all of these, but like these ones are covered up, which is so sad. Yeah. But this is an iconic view in Amsterdam. And then over here, that's where the I Amsterdam sign used to be, but they actually took it down. All right, guys, I got my outfit changed. Gonna get a pic. Got me drugged, your pheromones hit the roof auto, your taste is really a bad reception. Alright guys, we got a picture. I successfully changed without anyone seeing me naked, I think. And then now for lunch we are at pancakes and waffles. I've actually seen a lot of like pancake waffle crepe places here. They're, they have them like everywhere. And it's pretty cold. It's like lightly raining. So we all got hot chocolate to start, which looks so yummy. The hot chocolate was delish. This is the waffle that I got. <laughs> Oh, you're learning how to eat a beer water. He's about to eat. And so I pull out the camera. Luke got apple cinnamon. Thank you. My mom got the same with me. And then Parker actually got a crate. That was good. All right, guys. So it's still pretty early-ish in the day. It's about five. So not early, but we're still out doing stuff. We have been walking on the street and we saw these little like canal tours. It was like 12 euros or something for like an hour boat tour. So we decided to do this. Also, we just went on like a wild goose chase to find a bathroom because I have to pee every two minutes. Life hack for if you guys ever come to Europe, always have 50 cent coins. 50 cents. 50 cents, euro it's just coins. 50 cents. I don't know. Yeah. I'm never the one who has euros. the cash. Okay. In euros though, not in like American money. And so we just like went to this one McDonald's and then it was like, oh, go to this other one for the bathroom. So we walked all the way to it and we go in and you had to pay and we didn't have any coins. And that's happened like a couple times. So always have like $3 worth of 50 euro. Coins. 50 cents. 50 cents. But anyways, this will be cool. I thought that they told you like history about Amsterdam on this, but I don't, I think I might've made that up. So we're going to see. This will be a good adventure. reception out there. Where are you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? Yeah, I love you. But I need you. And you're off my way. Okay, guys, we are back in our Airbnb now. The canal tour thing was really cool. Something that I thought was so interesting is that all the houses are super narrow here. So a lot of them have like, what do they call it? Like a furniture hook on the, like, the front top part of the house because when they move in and out of houses they like can't fit the furniture in the door so they have to go through the window i don't know but it was super interesting i feel like we learned a lot of stuff so definitely recommend that if you guys are coming here but after we went on the boat tour we went to h&m and zara and got baby girl a couple things so i wanted to show you guys really quick i was only going to get her like one thing but you know i went a little bit overboard okay so first things that i got at h&m this was only 9.99 which it's in euros so it's like a little more expensive in dollars but i got her this cute little yellow romper for the spring i have a lot of like little baby stuff i don't have a lot of newborn but i have a lot of like zero to three months and then like three to six months so this is nine to 12 so everything i got is like a little bit of a bigger size so that it will fit her like next spring ish but i got her those and then i also got her these cute little baby shoes they're so cute so again these are like kind of big so she can wear them when she actually like walks probably i got those i also got this cute little pair of blue striped leggings that was really cute i also i think i got this in Okay, this is six to nine, so yeah, little bit of bigger sizes. Actually, this one I got is really tiny. They only had tiny sizes, but it's 
so cute guys this is for zero to one months and it is literally the cutest thing ever i don't know if she'll be born in august or september because i'm due like august 30th so if she comes early august if she comes late then september which is going to be kind of getting cold so this will be one of the first outfits that she wears while it's like still semi-warm. I also got her a couple of these little bow headbands. And then from Zara, they have the cutest baby clothes at Zara, guys. Seriously, so cute. So I got her this little white dress. Sorry, the lighting right now is so bad. It's probably like 7.30. The sun doesn't set here until 9, but it's also raining even harder right now. So... We've just been like hanging out here. I had a little bit of work to get done and then we're gonna figure out what to do for dinner. But anyways, I got this one in nine to 12 months too. And then I also love this little romper thing. I think it's so cute. Everything is seriously like the cutest freaking thing ever. So this is also nine to 12 months. So she won't wear it for a while, but then I got her this one, six to nine months, cute little like pink embroidered dress. And then the last thing that I got is this little set i got these little shorts and then they also have a matching top you wear them together and it's a cute little comfy baby outfit that is everything i got i think we are going to get packed up tonight our flight's pretty early in the morning but i think we want to well like vlog traveling home so that we can film reuniting with our little puppy who i miss so much she's been at home with my grandparents and like with my sister and tav so i know she's in good hands she was actually with if you guys know toma he's my uncle but he's my age his girlfriend sam for a few days so that was fun i have a puppy sitter but yeah anyways so we'll see you guys at the airport and 10 hours and 30 minutes later, we have arrived here in Salt Lake City. We're home, and now we are headed to Aspen's mom's to see Luma. All right guys, we made it home. We stopped by In-N-Out on the way home. I had to stop here. It's always the one place that I crave the most when we get home. And it's also conveniently located, like pretty close to our house. So we're home, we're just gonna relax. That's gonna be it for the vlog. Thank you guys for watching. We hope that you guys enjoyed and we'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye guys.